computational journalism is a term that uh, kind of came up because one of the things that we've been very interested in trying to understand what technology is doing to different processes about related to technology. So initially I was working on a field called computational photography where we tried to understand the workflow of how uh, content is captured and then how it's shared and distributed. And within that thing, one area that kind of started popping up, which is changing on daily basis, was how information is gathered, shared, and distributed. And so trying to understand that workflow for how information is gathered, then kind of edited, correlated, condensed, and then shared and distributed was a workflow that technology has kind of gotten into each and every aspect of it and impacted it completely. So for example, any information that's gathered these days can be gathered not just by professionals, but by citizens. It's also then edited and consumed by citizens in different ways, but also uh, dealt with by professionals in different aspects of it. So the whole pipeline has changed, and more importantly, at the end of the pipeline, People are getting information, but they're also getting data with it, and they're actually interacting with that information. So the computational journalism is more about how uh, computing and information technologies have impacted civic responsibility. One of the biggest things that uh, is important to understand with computational journalism, it's really about people. Uh, that is that we're trying to understand how people, citizens specifically, consume information. Uh, may it be about the day-to-day -day politics of your environment, or it could be about me wanting to find out about what's happening with any kind of new healthcare plans that are associated with it, or water quality in my neighborhood or environment. So it's about how people interact with information. And as I said, the civic part of it comes in because it actually helps you being citizens. It's not at all related to just what we think about in the United States, it could also be in Africa and China and stuff like that. And what's important to understand is it's about giving humans, the people, the right information. So most important part of all of this is how do we kind of create these pipelines of information that are useful for citizens to do to their, their day to day civic duties and also about what they want to do. When I want to find out about school districts for my child, how do I find out about it? One thing that's important to understand, it's not about automating journalism. That is, it's not about the process of figuring out that there would be a robot or a computer that would just generate news for you. It's about how providing the right kinds of information to citizens so they could then ask more questions. They could also be more informed about it. So when you start thinking about the involvement of humans in this pipeline of information, that's where actually Georgia Tech comes in because while we may not have a school of journalism and media, we actually are bigger experts in trying to understand how day-to-day -day technology is being consumed by people and how we're impacting it. So the efforts like the human-centric computing at Georgia Tech is really about trying to understand how computing is being used by people and impacting the human experience.